Hey, it's Melissa with Sincere, Sincerely Creative Mom. We are back uh, with the snowman that I was promising in the last video. There is a separate video just on how to attach the sign. I figured that could be more helpful all by itself rather than people having to, you know, wait and find the part of this design and all those things. So we did go ahead and make that into a separate video. This is a grapevine base. We're on a, I believe it's a 16 inch grapevine base. Um, and in another video also, I did show how to add uh, the pine garland. In fact, I used the other half of this pine garland in another video here. And so you can find that it turned into a beautiful hydrangea, greenery hydrangea, it's really pretty. Make sure you go check that one out. Um, but I at attached a couple here and then we'll do the rest together. And so all I did was I literally took what was left of the garland that I used in the other video and we're just gonna use that as a nice base here. And so I also used these, you guys, this tinsel, it, this is from Walmart in the packaging section. It is always left over when the sales start. It only starts at $1.48, so make sure you're watching those um, because I use them for so many cool things. So uh, I did use them. I cut them about 13 inches just to be comfortable. And um, we're going to go ahead. All I'm doing is adding, and I'll zoom you in here, I'm adding the pipe, well, I'm going to call it a pipe cleaner about a thousand times, but I'm adding that tinsel tie right that I cut myself, 13 inches long. I'm adding it right to the base of this. So I'm attaching the garland itself to the grapevine, but I'm not using a whole lot of vine in there. Just thought that would be important to know because I am going to kind of come through here and, and glue things in. And so I don't want the whole vine, so I'm not going all the way through. Just enough to really hold us in. Just enough to hold us in. There we go. Perfect. Now, my sign's attached, my garland's attached, really easy. These are kind of long, so I'll see what we're gonna do with those. We're gonna add in some mesh. So let me just zoom you back out here. We're gonna add in some mesh, and I will tell you this, I have a plan, but I don't have a plan, which is cool to see how that kind of shakes out. Um, I, my plan is to use a lot of things that we've been moving around. I've left over, I've won of something, and we're gonna make, we're gonna make something cool. We're gonna make something cool together. So I'm just gonna take this, these were cut in 18 inches, just because I wanted to have enough, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna have enough for how many I needed. So I'm gonna just twist that, a little curl here, a little curl, scrunch it up, and then another little curl. I'll do that slower in the next one. I'm just going to put those together, and usually I would use my pines to attach. This time I'm going to. I want to left. I want to leave these uh, as exposed as possible, and so I'm going to use that mesh, um, that piece we put in there. How cute and easy is that? And I'm not even gonna hide those because they're a great addition to what we have going on. So I'm gonna take, again, I had two pieces. They're about 18 inches long. I usually would have cut them 20, but you know, I wanted to make sure we had enough. Really, I only had one of the roll with the polka dot and I already used that for another video, which you'll see here on YouTube also. Um, so I'm just going to curl that in and then scrunch it. All I'm doing here with the curl is just really trying to make sure, oh actually I need to go the other way with that curl. I didn't do it that first one, but this way. Because I want to see all of those polka dots. It, oh, I already messed up that first one, but I think it's going to be okay. And so now by doing this, no one knows like to do, like how, how, what'd you do? How'd you do that? Like how, how did you get that in there? Right? We're just adding in, making sure our pines stay through, which is cool. And then we're adding it through all the spots where we had our 
pipe cleaner. Now you're probably thinking, well, why don't you just curl them up together? I do want that fuller look. Also, I'm always taking that black and white stripe first and putting that on the bottom part so that the polka dots aren't next to each other or the stripes aren't next to each other. Okay, then, you know, let me just put this one in first. hold on to it just for a second so that I can really get us in. So a little curl. Let's do that a little slower so you can see. And I'll zoom you in here. Okay, so 18 inches. I'm doing that mo I'm doing this mostly so that this cut edge stays kind of tucked in and curled in. You can't see, I'll show you in a second. But so that it stays cut cuz it's going to fray. It's going to fray. You cut it it's a woven material, it's going to fray. Our job is to conceal it, hide it, do our best to camouflage it. So I go a little bit, like two curls. I just want enough for that to look like a curl on the end there, that's all. And then I'm gonna just scrunch, 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 scrunch up the center. If you have a full roll of mesh, you can totally do longer. I did 18 inches because I didn't have a full roll of the polka dot and I wanted to make sure I had enough. Okay. And then let me just take that out so it looks the same. Put those in there just how I had them. Just like that. Really cute. And then right down on top. Super sweet. So through the year, I may use things, I may tear things apart, I may think I'm gonna use something in the coaching group and then <laughs> change my mind, uh, but those things never get tossed out. They, they do end up in a pile and I do keep them. Now you can see, look, it looks like, you know, it kind of looks like almost the pine was stuck in there and really, it was the mesh that was stuck in there. Really cool effect. Love the look, just making sure that I pull those apart so I have uh, all those, as many as we can. Mesh over here. Really like this effect. Scrunch, 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 scrunch. Doing the same over here, and then I'll flip it. So curl. Scrunch, 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 scrunch. Curl the other end. Also, take note right now, that it's as much as a, of a, you know, perfectionist that I like to be, these don't have to be perfect, right? They just, they don't have to be perfect. Right down to that tinsel tie. Tie nice and tight. I don't have to worry about the greenery. Um, too much, because we are gonna add more greenery. So this is just the start of it. Really super cute. Last one. We may decide to add more. I do have enough, I think, for one more, I have one more curl on each end. So maybe we'll add in, we'll see. And I'm just gonna flip that over. So this one stays the same as it was. This one I flipped over so you can see more of those polka dots. Super cute. Okay, there we go. Awesome. You guys don't forget to be on our email list as we do send emails when we have new YouTube videos that are being posted and ready so you'll never miss one. Look how cute! Let me just zoom you out. Easy breezy, just like that. Darling, nice start to our uh, to our design here. Really cute. 
I don't want to move. Oh, maybe. We'll see. I might add some more mesh down here. Maybe. We'll see. One thing we are for sure doing is we're going to start our glue pot. We're going to use our glue pot. And um, we are going to be using our... Where can I get this over here? Let's see. Maybe on the floor. Sorry. Pretty sure that's not good where I put it, but hopefully I don't step on it. So I pulled these apart for a different project. Didn't use them. Couldn't tell you why. Don't know. Don't even remember what the project was, but I remember uh, because these are all in pieces. So we have a whole lot of them. And it looks like they were originally from... Ooh, they're expensive too. What? They're originally from Joann's. The full price it was $12.99 and it looked like they had one, two, three, four, five, six. So $12.99, let's say a little over a dollar a piece for these. And since I only had what looks like two, I imagine I paid regular price for them. I don't remember for sure. Um, but they're a part. Let's go ahead and add them in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I must have used two pieces somewhere. Um, this I will not definitely not want to lose. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this in like that and roll it back in our precious roll here so we don't lose sight of that. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and add these in. I have 10 pieces. So I have a good amount to add in. I'll add in our first one right down here. Now, if you're not comfortable with gluing right away, that's fine. It's totally fine. It's 100% fine. Don't worry. Do a dry run. Put them in. See how you feel. See oh, all the stuff. What do you think? Where can you add more? Maybe you maybe that's it. Maybe th then you get more comfortable, then you can go back. I found as I did that for a while, then I'm like, oh, this is such a pain for me to then go back, take everything out, dip it, and then it's taking double the time. So then I'd try a little bit and a little bit and a little bit doing one layer, maybe one layer I'd glue in, maybe the next layer. If I only had five of something, I might really place them first, do a dry run. It is completely up to you, but don't feel like, oh, I'm not talented or I don't have the craft gene because I have to do a dry run. I did a dry run for a long time, number one, and I still do. Go check out that video that I was talking about with the hydrangeas. I totally did a, a dry run to get them perfect before gluing them in, so don't worry about that. All right, let's go ahead and glue ourselves in. I'm gonna get a nice glob of glue the least amount of glue I can use, I I like the better. Um, just, I mean, I'm sorry, the least amount of items that I glue in, the better. So I love that this was not glued in. It was in there, um, you know, without added uh, hot glue. And But when I do use glue, I glob it in. I really do glob it because I don't want it to come out. So I'm being very generous with the globs of glueys. So I'm gonna move this out. I do know I want it to go about right here. So that stem is gonna kinda of go up inside here, a little further up. Y'all don't forget, I am a coach inside a creative coaching group where we have several other designers, talents, um, interests, expertise. We do all sorts of fun things in there. Um, you don't have to have a business. You can be someone who just wants to learn how to decorate your own home a little better. Uh, we have several different uh, coaches that help with all sorts of different things. Coaches that inspire other coaches are our, our, our wreath attachment gal, uh, Sweet Derica, has inspired our Sweet Jordan to also uh, make wreath attachments a part of his journey, a part of his business. So, you know, lots of cool things going on in there. Um, definitely, if you're interested in learning more, it's not scary. It's just like this. It's a step-by-step, step-by-step 
atmosphere. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> when I'm not live, I forget my words still, and I'm looking for you guys on the screen to help me with my words. Oh, goodness. Love this. You know what? And even if I don't use all of them, and I at least use the parts that were um, kind of loose, I think I'll be okay. And then there's three more on the stem that maybe I'll use for a centerpiece or something. Love. Look at that. Such an easy add. I do have one more. We're going to get this baby in here one way or another. I don't know. That looks pretty balanced. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe over here, maybe. Maybe a little bit further down here. We can make it come down. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Let's add a little bit more down here. So this is kind of squashing my um, add a little bit more add a little more mesh. We're just going to extend it this way just a little bit. Now again, I'm just going to tell you, I'm using extra pieces that I've had laying around or I had one of something and you know it has enough parts for me to kind of get through here. So keep that in mind as you are watching the rest of the pieces go in. Okay? Really cute. All right. And so now I have them, at least they're on a stem, right? At least they're on a stem, and I can, I can use those at a separate time. Another thing I had was these, one, two, three, four, five. These guys, and I might cut them in half even more, and I really hope we'll use them in that case. Um, one of them was starting to get either, either yellow a little bit or... Uh, maybe it got dirty, I'm not sure, but I'm going to try to make sure I hide that. And we are going to go ahead and cut them just so that we have more pieces because we did make a pretty large space there. Let's go ahead and cut. I'm always nervous to do that, but I did do that with another piece on the other snowman design if you saw the other video it was a um, pancake wreath and we added this one's got to be a little bit short down here we added some fun little bundles through the top layer that was really cute that's here on our YouTube also last one I think it's going to be good right there. This is almost could be in threes, but. Okay, now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pieces, a little better to do. I'll work with a little bit. And again, I just had them laying, <laughs> they were in my box of white stuff. And so I'm just going to poke these through here and there. They are long enough to be seen, so I don't feel like I have to add a pick to the bottom of them, which is, ooh, which is um, a nice time saver there. And I have lots of spots to add in. Lots of spots to add in. And in this case, I am. Usually I don't go straight in. Usually I kind of go in on an angle. But that's pretty thick, and so it is catching. And I am going straight in, just at least so far I have been. I hope these videos have been helpful to you. And you're enjoying them. Don't forget to be subscribed. And following us so that you can see all of our tutorials. Our folks on the email do receive an email once we have new videos out. So you can check us out over, get on our email list over at learnfromalyssa.com. Again, that's where you can find our favorite suppliers some of our favorite tools, all sorts of fun stuff. 
Okay, one, two, three, four. Pay attention so I don't lose. Adding those here and there, getting rid of them. Now, I've been really into centerpieces lately also, so this would have been a really cute piece to uh, cut up and put into centerpieces. However, with those few spots that were starting to yellow a little bit, those probably would have been, you know, a little more noticeable. And so, you know, I thought, well, let's just, you know, that part would be covered up in here, so let's just put them in here instead. If you don't know me, I am Melissa from Sincerely Creative Mom. I do go live on Facebook. I have two children who are involved in, you know, all the all the things. And my fifth grader has homework like she's in college. So we've been a busy, busy, uh, but I do try my hardest to get over on Facebook as well to be live. I haven't quite figured out how to go live here on YouTube, but maybe one day I will. Nice little ad there, so cute. And that right in, so we used all 10 of them. If you are used to seeing me in the coaching group, you know that sometimes I have an extra and I leave it. I just wait to see how it looks at the end. Um, you know, how it looks at the end, okay. Another thing that I have to get rid of, uh, this, I don't even know where this is from. I tried to figure it out from the, from the tag. It doesn't have any indicator. Um, just <laughs> not for children under three. Uh, this is not a toy. I, I don't know how long I've had it, where it actually came from. I honestly don't even know where it came from. Um, and so, oh, well, maybe that one's on there pretty good. Let's see, are these moving too? That one's on there pretty good at the top. Three, four, let's see, maybe I'll just use three because I don't, not just one. Maybe I shouldn't use my scissors. Um, also, if you can, if you've noticed, so far we have no bow. So far we have no bow. And I, well, this one only has two. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take that one off take this one off. This is going to go in the garbage. And let's see, oh yeah, that does come off. Perfect. And let's slide that baby back in this way. Perfect. That one is on pretty good. All right. One, two, three. What else do we have that's just one, two, that would have been cute in a tree topper, just having one. Oh. I must have used that for something else because I do remember having more of those. So let's try to balance those three things and these three things. Let's try to do that. If you are enjoying this video, please let me know in the comments so I know that it's a good idea that I continue making these or not. I'll put that right in there, it bends a little bit, perfect. Sometimes I'm really not sure whether I'm, whether I should be continuing videos like this or not. So let me know in the comments if you want to continue to see more. Right through. And 
this is what it looks like when you are using up some of your stuff. Now, I did not leave a spot for a bow. And that's because I was really thinking I wouldn't be using one, but I think we're gonna go ahead and try to get one in there. And maybe we should do that first, because I just kind of made that decision by putting that guy in there just like that. And, uh-oh, oh, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and put that, do a bow first before we before we go further and we're going to use this guy here just to add our bow in which something I um, the person I learned how to make a, wreath, a bow from oh, 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 runaway rule as a person I learned how to make a bow from that's how she actually made hers and so it's kind of cool to see <laughs> I'm gonna leave it long for now, then we can cut it. We can cut it. So we're gonna build it right in to the design. So I'm gonna pinch, twist. Let's see how long that'll be. That I think will snuggle in there a little bit too much. Let's make it a little bit longer. Good, I think that'll be good. Pinch, twist, loop, pinch, twist. We're gonna just do three, loop, pinch, and twist. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll put them in Kind of one oh this guys let me get that over here one coming down like this and then we'll crisscross so the other one goes with the tails up but every layer I'll twist that to keep the layers in so keep that in mind as we go through super cute one so the tails that go on the other side the ones that go up will be a little bit smaller we'll cut those Now, I did the other video that you see that was a snowman. I also used these same ribbons, okay? So, the buffalo black and black and yellow, mm -mm. <laughs> the black and white buffalo plaid, still a very popular pattern. And so, it always for me if you're if you're selling these um, it always sells. If you are decorating your own home, you know, definitely goes with the snowman, you know, black and white. Um, so again, putting that in opposite side, twist, coming in with a another red and white. Making my loops a little bit smaller every time I go. Pinch. Twist. Loop. Pinch. Twist. Loop. Pinch and twist. I think this is going to turn out really cool and I'm going to be really happy to get rid of some of these things off my shelf. Okay, twist, opposite. So instead of, just pretend like this is, you see me make wreaths on our bow maker. Just pretend that this is our bow maker except every time we're putting a piece in, we're just adding a twist. So, you know, no, nothing different other than, you know, you see. My two loops are over here, my two loops are over here, my two loops are over here. I did the same thing, I'm just adding it into 
the actual design. And then how fun, we're gonna keep up with these polka dots. How fun, we're gonna keep up with these polka dots. And um, this one's gonna have one extra loop. So pinch, and then our three, twist, loop, pinch, and twist. So I'm looking for my two loops that were over here, put the two loops on the opposite side, exactly, exactly, exactly the same way I do for the pancake, or the wreath, um, bow normally, and then I'm just gonna leave those there because it's it's totally fine. Then this, this case we have a tail going on both sides. And then before we, before we keep going, we'll just dovetail these so that we don't lose any, don't forget. Some we may be cutting a little bit shorter. This depends on how it turns out in the, in the design. Okay, so let's turn our cutie pie this way. Oh, wait, maybe we, well, that's, that's fine. Turn our cutie pie this way, and let's go ahead and start fluffing. So I'm gonna take these two, this way, this way, opposite, making sure I'm getting all those layers in. All the ways. Okay, we'll fluff it a little bit better in just a second. Taking that that center loop and making sure that comes straight up. Again, we will cut them just a second. Just want to make sure we're getting our smaller layers the way we're supposed to. Oops. Okay, looks crazy, I know. And then we'll go in and cut. A little smaller, a little shorter, a little fun. Give us a little haircut here. So took up a lot of space. Took up a lot of space. Added a nice fun bow to our design. Really super cute. Awesome. Okay, then from there, now we'll keep adding the rest of our stuff, which now we don't have to worry about uh, filling in underneath. So I know we added in some of that pine underneath, we added in some of those spikies underneath, but it'll be, it'll be fine, okay? Um, I'm gonna add one over here, one down here, and one up here, ish. And then we have some other white things to uh, balance this out with that color. Don't worry. Now, if I didn't have anything else to balance this out, that would look pretty funny. So I would, again, try to cut those and give them a little bit more uh, push through the design so I can have those little circles because they, you know, they're sticking out. They, are, they, are, they want to be seen and known and um, they don't want to be lost and um, they do a lot of talking, especially the white, the stark white against everything else. So I wouldn't just leave them by themselves. But we do have another 
glittery white piece to help balance this, which is nice. Not a lot of cost on that piece to help. Just gonna be great. Okay, nice little add. And then let's, so that it doesn't look crazy for you and for me, let's go ahead and add those other pieces to balance. Sorry about all the noise, sorry. Um, these are from Hobby Lobby. I always grab as many as I can. They are, they end up being two bucks a piece on the 50% off. They are never there at the end of the year. So if you're waiting for like, oh, I wonder if they'll be, nope, nope, they don't. They're never there at the end for a higher percent off. So just go ahead and grab them while you see them. And they're they're like the perfect fern. They're per, they're glittered. It's nicely glittered. Um, I've had this one. These came from the bottom of a box that I've had now for several years. You can see it's not yellowing, so it's real. That's a really big plus. And I think they're going to be good. We may just cut them a little bit. Good deal. And then coming right up underneath here. Again, we decided we were gonna extend that side of the side of the grapevine. So we are gonna go ahead and make sure we get our pieces in to help us keep extending. I'm gonna go right in over here, up as far as I can, just to get that coming right out of that edge. And we have six. So I'll probably put four, two, three, and four up here, and then two over here. One, and two, somewhere over there. Okay, so you can see now we have that white kind of balancing out a little bit better. And I'll just go in here the best I can. Those little pieces that come off the end are nice and pointy, nice and pokey, so I don't have to really worry about um, them not going in. Usually they're pretty easy. I do have to worry about making sure that they are seen in the spot where I am putting them, so making sure. They're getting in the grapevine, but I can still see them. Hopefully this helps your questioning on how to add mesh to a grapevine. And then once I have it behind the camera, I can really check things out to make sure we're in good shape. I try to move this one a little bit over here. There we go. Put this one up over here. Now the pine that was in there at first, you probably like, oh, that didn't look like it was just enough um, from the garland, but it did definitely did its job. Plus, I used the actual garland in a different in a different piece, so. I kind of got a dual thing there, which was really nice. Got to use that piece a couple different times. Love, love, totally loving this. Now, I will say at this point, you could probably stop. I would feel very comfortable with that. 
We do have one other piece that I have to have to put in, and we may not put in the other, the last piece that I had. So this was uh, one of my, is one of my favorite garlands. It happens to also be from Hobby Lobby. Um, the light on this, it, it looks like it's light, like it looks like you're catching the light, uh, but it's not. It's just the way these pieces are. I totally love them. And I only had two like clumps. So what I did was I just pieced them apart individually and I added some uh, or a pick to each end to make it a little bit longer, easier to get in. And so I'm just gonna add those in in different spots here and there. I will say this, it definitely looks like it is uh, like lights when it's on the door that when the light catches those pieces, it does something special. I, I don't know how to say it or how to describe it, but it's really, really cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so let's put four down and four down and three on the other side. So you see, what am I doing? I'm doing a totally doing a dry run making sure we can see all these cute pieces. And then I think after this, we'll see. I think after this we could call it quits. Um, this piece I always look for before the big sales come in because I try my hardest to pick up a couple at the end of the year. And I try to really watch my Hobby Lobby to see if there's gonna be enough left over to be going on sale, because then I'm grabbing a whole bunch of them. It just looks so, so good um, when the light catches it. It's a really cool, it's a really cool effect. Again, that's going right in the straight into the grapevine and set it on an angle just so I can get the height on that. Watching my fingers. Love, love, love. So sometimes it's nice, you know, you're using brand new pieces and you're using them whole, uh, but you know, when you have pieces left over, I never, I never, never get rid of them. People razz me all the time, but um, I, I, I just can't, I just cannot, I just can't. I'm gonna put that, instead of putting that up there, which I probably should, I'm gonna put it right down here. Um, in, but, but now you see how awesome it was to just pull those extra pieces apart and make a complete beauty. I totally love this so much. I know you can't see in the camera, but when those pieces catch the light, it looks like there are lights in your design even though there isn't. I enjoy teaching for y'all. Please let me know in the comments if you enjoy these videos so that I can continue to make more for you. Again, I am a creative coach inside a private group where we teach lots of different things, garlands and trees and centerpieces and all those things. Don't forget to check out the details of that group over at learnfrommelissa.com. Again, it's not just me. The, the group is full of different personalities and um, expertise and, and all the fun stuff. So, oops, I didn't put that one in. Oh, I did put that one in. It broke off. Oh no, okay. That, that little piece wasn't part of the... There we go. Ooh, glad I did that, not someone else. Um, that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye, y'all.